up kitten cats? So before I get started on this video, I apologize in advance for any noise. There is some work going on around here. So if you're like drilling or people talking, I'm sorry. I just can't avoid it, but I really wanted to sit down and record this video today because this is a highly requested video and I finally have time to sit down and film it. But I get tons and tons and tons of questions about stage makeup. Um, for those of you who don't know, if you're new to my channel, I realize there's some new friends here. Uh, I compete in the NPC. I'm an NPC bikini competitor. I've also grown up on stage since I was a year old. I was a dancer. I did musical theater. I did show choir. And like I said, I danced for like my whole life. So I've been around stage makeup for a hot minute and I always get questions about competition makeup because I do my own. So uh, if you do your own makeup for shows, you're saving yourself a lot of money. Competing is a really expensive hobby and getting your makeup professionally done can cost up to like $300 or more, depending on the show, depending on the artist, whoever it is. When I got my makeup done for Junior Nationals last year, it was $250. Um, so if you can do your own makeup, that's a pretty penny you're saving. Um, with that, you have to be comfortable doing your own makeup if you decide to do your own. So if you're new to makeup and you feel really uncomfortable, um, I would suggest if you can find someone that can do your makeup for you a little bit cheaper, maybe do that, or just practice a ton. Even if you're comfortable with makeup, make sure if you're doing stage makeup that you practice it multiple times before your show. That way when it comes to show day, you feel really comfortable with the techniques you're using, the products you're using, what you're doing, um, and also, if you don't practice beforehand, it's gonna be a very stressful experience the day of the show and that is the last thing you want. And, oh, oh, oh. and chances are it'll turn out not looking how you want it to look. So practice, practice, practice before your show. So let's get started. Another tip with your tan. Um, I do get a light layer of tan on my face when I get my first coat the night before. So on Friday night when you go and get your tan, if you have a Saturday show, typically they will ask you, do you want any tan on your face? And I'm not particularly pale, uh, so I only get a light layer. Some people get a heavier layer if they're on the paler side, but I do get a light layer and the next morning they tell you to gently wipe your face with a makeup wipe to get some of that base off. But having a layer of tan on my face, I found helps to kind of prevent that sheen that comes through underneath the stage lights. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to describe this. Since your skin is so much lighter than your stage tan, your, your stage tan is about five shades darker than your actual skin. Um, there's kind of a white reflective effect that happens uh, when your actual skin color shows through um, under those bright stage lights kind of. So you kind of can ameliorate some of that by having a light layer of tan on your face. I don't know if that made any sense. So let's just get into it. Uh, first thing that I wanted to share, first product is a facial primer. Um, the kind that I use is, this is just what I use for every day as well, is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. Um, it does have a, it just, I don't think the, the backlight effect really comes into play with stage makeup just because it's so heavy. Um, but it's a great primer. I use it daily. Um, another one that I recommend is the Smashbox Photo Ready Primer. And then if you're not someone that uses primer on a regular basis and you're just trying to save a little money, I would recommend the Revlon Photo Ready uh, Primer from the drugstore. It's a great cheap alternative. I've used that one in the past. It's great quality, especially for a drugstore product. So that's face primer, but I definitely recommend using some kind of primer to get your skin ready for the heavy makeup that's about to go on it. Um, especially since stage makeup is darker, you wanna prep your skin so it doesn't get all muddy and messy and you don't want things to slide around, especially because the foundation itself is so much darker than your natural skin tone. You need to make sure there's something there acting as like a barrier to help it all go on smoothly. So that is primer. Next up is my go-to foundation for both stage and studio. So if I'm doing photo shoots, obviously if I'm doing photo shoots, I use a more normal skin color, but for the stage, um, I do use MAC Studio Tech. And this is the color NC50. Hey, as you can see, it is a lot darker than my skin tone. Um, I definitely recommend going, ooh, I definitely recommend going to a MAC counter um, and just kind of explaining the situation to them. They're usually pretty familiar with um, competitors, I've noticed at least. Uh, but the NC50 I just found has worked really, really well. Um, another brand that's similar is Cover Effects, and Cover Effects can be found at Sephora. Actually, um, 
I don't think I'm mistaken on this because I have a friend that's a makeup artist that told me this, but the formulator for cover effects used to work for MAC. And so especially if you, I've used the cover effects uh, dark shade before, but I actually let a friend borrow it so I don't have it right now. But cover effects is a cruelty free alternative as well. Um, very, very comparable quality, excellent. And when it comes to application, I just use the sponge that comes with it. Now with this, I don't wipe. I kind of just try to pat because it is so dark. You're gonna need a thick layer. It is very full coverage. And especially when you have a much darker color, you want as full coverage as possible so that you don't get any patches shining through. Um, and then I do get a lot of questions about what I use for you know, concealer the day of, uh, since my skin tone is so much darker. And I just use, I do have two of these. I use the one that I use for like photo shoots and stuff, my normal skin tone. This one right here, and that is color NC30, but again, these are the MAC Studio Tech foundations. With the foundation, I do spray with a makeup spray and set it with a powder before I start putting on any other product because you don't want to put powder on top of cream um, in terms of you don't want to start doing, what I'll show you next, you don't want to start doing your highlight and contour um, right on top of the foundation. You want to have a setting powder base, but I do set it with a setting spray and I'll get to the setting spray later. I set it with a setting spray. I let it dry really quick because it is a very creamy, not creamy, but very thick foundation. So I let that dry, powder, and then when it comes to contour, I've tried cream contouring with that foundation and it's just not my favorite thing to do. So I find that using just a powder contour is much less stressful. So for powder contour, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, contour kit. I primarily use these two colors right here for the contour. I'll contour my cheekbones around my face. Make sure, okay, your hairline with this dark foundation, with this contour, make sure it's like blended up into your hairline because you don't want that halo effect if you leave that white strip. That's not cute on anyone and definitely not cute on stage. No girl, no. So I use these two colors for the contour. I just kind of swirl my brush around, cheekbones, <laughs> my hair and mouth, around my face, nose, all of that. And then as well for contour, I also just use my traditional bronzer. This is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Amazonian Clay Matte Bronzer. It is waterproof. And then another tip for foundation with stage makeup or studio makeup, avoid anything with SPF in it because SPF will reflect. Um, it causes kind of like a white sheen in flash photography. And then under stage lights as well, I've noticed that it has a not so great effect. So stay away from things with SPF. That's why I like using studio grade foundations for stage makeup. Um, but then to set, to set my face, um, I love, I use this for everything not just stage makeup. But this is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This stuff is like my ride or die. I use this to set my face, I use this to bake, like under eye, nose, everything. So between foundation and contour, this is the setting powder, and this is the setting powder that I use at the end as well. So next up after the contour is blush. The blush that I use, you guys saw me mention the Jaclyn Hill palette in my last video, so I may try using that um, Amaretto blush for my next show. But the one that I currently have been using for shows is this one right here. It is Becca Wild Honey. It was just my standard everyday blush. I don't want a pink streak. That's not cute on anyone. No. You don't want like doll cheeks. No. You want a nice light layer of blush. Um, and I also just like blush to kind of blend highlight and contour together. So, highlight. Sorry this is all over the place, but with highlight. Okay ladies, y'all know how much I love my champagne pop. Unfortunately, stage time is not the time to be a blind the haters glittering unicorn with your highlight. It's not that time because you're under bright lights. A lot of times the light, lights are coming from above. You don't wanna be a reflective galactica spaceship beam on stage. That's not the highlight we're going for. You're a unicorn, but your highlight should not be unicorn level at this time. Know when to unicorn and when to not. So for my highlight on stage, I do use the middle shade of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, um, right on top of the cheekbones, down the nose, 
tease on a little bit. This is a very light layer just because your stage makeup is so dark. You don't want a ton of it, otherwise you'll look super patchy. So just a light layer of that. And then I do use just a little bit, just a little bit of champagne. Every time, every time I do use just a little bit of champagne pop because it must be with me wherever I go, wherever I am. It has to be on me somewhere in order for me to fully channel my diva. But again, that is just a very light application. Like, be gentle. Be gentle. Be chill. It's hard for me. It's hard. Next up, the eyeshadow palette. This is probably like the key to this whole thing. Um, this guy right here, the Naked Smoky palette. Don't want to blind y'all with this mirror. But this Naked Smoky palette is basically like my go-to holy grail for stage makeup, photo shoot makeup. It's all you need for a really good smoky eye. Um, so the primary colors that I use in this palette are Combust right here. I start that in my crease. Then I move, I do Password a little bit in the crease as well. That's just like a matte gray. And then I begin to layer with Armor and Slanted also in the crease. Dagger, more so on the outside of the crease, and black market in the very, very outside of the crease under the eye just to add a little bit of depth. I can hear the thumping downstairs and I hope you can't. So that is the Naked Smoky palette from Urban Decay. This is literally my ride or die. This and the original Naked palettes are my all-time favorite Naked palettes ever. Ever. But this is a great one for the stage. This I would definitely consider an essential. For my eyebrows, I use... This Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Dark Brown. So I just find that this, it's a cream brow product. Um, I find this, it's a little bit heavier duty, and so that's a little bit better for stage when you're trying to get a heavier duty look. Obviously. Um, I just apply it with the Anastasia brush and spoolie, and then I set it with this Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. This stuff is literally eyebrow cement. Like, your brows ain't going anywhere with this stuff on. Your eyebrows are about to be that ex-boyfriend that you can't get rid of, but you wanna get rid of, except they're your eyebrows and you don't wanna get rid of them because brows are life. Brows are life. Now, moving on to eyeliner. Um, so on the top, I do this Revlon Color Stay liquid eyeliner. This is like my favorite liquid liner ever and it's from the drugstore, it's like $4. And then on my waterline, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Waterproof Cream Color. Um, you do want some stuff in your waterline. You don't want a ton under the waterline, but I just find that that helps to blend it with the wing. I do do a slight wing to match my lashes. And speaking of lashes, let's talk about lashes. Eyelashes are like my favorite part because you just feel like... When you have your lashes on. So I definitely prefer, you guys know I get lash extensions, but I definitely prefer false lashes on stage versus lash extensions because they just add more drama. They add it, they, they just add, okay? Now, the ones that I use, I would highly, highly, highly recommend. Um, I use, this is the packaging, Velour Lashes. They're Fluff and Wispy Lash. Um, they're these guys right here. They are literally the fluffiest, softest things ever. These are from Sephora. Uh, with your eyelashes, make sure you don't get anything that's too thick, too heavy, too dark, because think about it, especially if they have any sort of lighting from the top coming down. If you have these massive fan lashes that are super thick like a freaking butterfly on your eyelid, that's gonna cast a shadow right under here. And that, again, is another thing that ain't cute on nobody. So don't do that. So these are heavy enough to where they add some drama, but they're not so heavy that you're like a panda. Nobody wants the panda look. Nobody. And that song needs to stop being popular because I used to like it and now I'm annoyed with it. But then to glue them, I just use the Duo Lash Adhesive. This one does dry clear. They also have one that dries black, which could also be a good idea for stage just because your eyeliner, but you know what, who knows. But those are the Velour Fluff and Wispy Lash from Sephora. And then I just put mascara on the bottom lashes. I do put mascara on my top lashes before the eyelashes set. Like before I put eyelashes on at all. Um, because I find that 
putting mascara on after I put eyelashes on decreases the life of my lashes, my fake lashes. And the thing with the lower lashes, they are able to be used multiple times, like 20 plus times, but you have to take care of them, so I don't put mascara on my fake lashes at all. Like, I kind of pinch my lashes so that they all blend together, but I don't put mascara on my fake lashes. No, ma'am. Um, moving on to lips. The lip color that I use on stage, ladies, okay, first off, do not wear a nude lip like this on stage. And do not go on stage without any lip color on at all because bad things will happen to you in either scenario. You do need some kind of color on your lips. Why am I stabbing my fingers? I'm just so passionate about this. Because you're on stage, everything needs to be a little bit more dramatic than your daily look, especially when your tan is so dark. You do not want butthole nude lips with a dark ass tan. But <laughs> what you do want is a nice color. Um, so I personally use Kat Von D's Lolita Liquid Lipstick. This is just a little mini one. I will show you. That is a swatch. I love this color so much. It's beautiful and it, I definitely recommend like a liquid lip or a lip stain just because it lasts longer because it is a, a liquid lip and it dries. So you never know, you know, how long you're gonna be standing backstage if you can't go back to your makeup case or whatever and touch up your lips. So that's where liquid lip comes in handy. And then for gloss on top of it, I just use this MAC lip gloss. I love, 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 love the lip gloss because it's like, oh, it's just such a nice sheen and shine. It's beautiful, it's beautiful. It's glossy, yes. I wouldn't recommend going on stage with an entirely matte lip. I don't particularly love how that looks. Um, that's just a personal preference. And then finally, and then finally I do set my makeup with a setting spray. I'll do another layer of the Laura Mercier powder and then I will set with setting spray. This is the Urban Decay um, All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray, long lasting. I get the oil free variety, not the moisturizing variety because I don't need any more of that. Um, so I use this. Another like drugstore dupe would be the NYX setting spray. I've used the NYX setting spray in the past and I really, really like that one. And yeah, that is it for the actual products. Um, just some final thoughts. Like I mentioned before, I grew up on stage. I have been dancing since I could walk, like literally since I was a year old. Um, classical ballet, classical ballet, studio competitions, high school dance team, theater, show choir, all of that. So I have been around stage makeup. And let me tell y'all, it needs to be dark. It needs to be dark, especially your eye makeup. Like if you think it's dark enough, you should probably add a little, a little bit more, a little bit more. Especially if you're not used to wearing a lot of makeup, just having anything on, you're gonna be like, whoa, honey, put the brakes on. But stage makeup needs to be dark, it needs to be intense. But with that, please do not go on stage looking like a drag queen or a hooker. There is a fine line that we walk on, a fine line. So, uh, basically, if I had to give like a recommendation, you're going for a more enhanced look of yourself. So you need to deepen and darken your features. You need some eye color, you need some lip color, but you don't need to go over the top. I do not recommend using like blue eyeshadows. That is typically a disaster in my opinion. I don't recommend like matching the color of your suit with your eyeshadow. I'm just not about that. Just a dark smoky eye with like blacks and browns and grays. Um, depending on your skin tone is gonna be best. Um, this Naked Smoky palette is more like the black gray realm. Um, but yeah, those are my thoughts. You should still look like you, is what I'm saying. And yeah, that's about all I have for you guys today. If you like this video, if you enjoyed this little chat, please give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment below, subscribe to my channel, and stay glam out there, fam. You know, I had to throw that in there. All right, I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.